Hey, 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 welcome to Medieval Chronicles 9, the game which gave me an existential crisis. What's one more on top of all the previous ones you and I already have, am I right? But as always, I hope you enjoy! He's in here. I can feel it. This is... a bar? Where else would he be? Wait, there's a smash bottle behind the bar. Hmm, an empty bar even. So, this is all a ruse to make sure we have him, huh? Oh, I was right. The drag at the hospital and our target was the same person all along. Oh, well, it seems he didn't know it was Drag at the hospital after all, so that's why he turned his back on him. It seems his bravado at the hospital was a temporary thing, though, since he's drinking away his fears in here. Hmm, <laughs> a soul with no path. Do we really need to kill? He looks like he'll die on his own if left alone. Then he should rejoice! At least he will have the honor to die by Master's hand! And it already has happened multiple times, but the problem is Drag just keeps on returning back to life. <laughs> Drag Morris, we meet again. Hmm, nods without turning. Hey! You dare ignore the priest! As long as his pint of beer is in front of him, he will ignore everything. <laughs> we will not mourn for when you die! Who the hell wants you two ugly ladies mourning for me? I'd rather disco with the devil than you to wail. What? Who are you calling ugly? If you're not ugly, then why do you wear that veil? Are you that ashamed of showing your face? You ignorant animal! These veils originate from our beliefs! Since the dead can't show expressions, we choose to do the same. The dead can't talk either, so maybe you should do all of us a favor and shut up? I feel like ripping my ears off from all of your shrieking. You, 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 you wild be- That's enough. Uh, s sorry. Whoops, it seems you let your emotions run. <laughs> maybe you all should stop breathing too, since the dead don't breathe. At least one of the two mourners is smart enough to just stay silent. Save your breath. They won't respond anymore since I told them to. Really? Does that work on only these two or can you get anyone to shut up? If so, I would like to learn this. You were expecting me, weren't you? Oh jeez, I wonder how he was able to deduce that. Maybe read the room a little bit more, Remnant. Yep, you shouldn't have trusted the postman. They start talking like parrots when you beat them long enough. So this is... an ambush. Hi there. And there's the backup. Ready for a second round, priests? And just to be careful... And a ton of soldiers. Game over, big guy. This is troublesome. Keep a close eye on him, he's a master swordsman. Keep your weapons at ready. Even a second of carelessness is enough for him to escape. He seems really calm for this situation. Weird, you look calmer than I thought. Yeah, he's not panicking. I'm someone who has abandoned emotions. You rarely see any expressions from me. What a coincidence. Me too. Except my emotions were the ones who abandoned me. Enough talk! Capture them! And what I can see them, assassin! He's way too calm. You are lucky today, Drag. You shall not die yet. Thanks for the offer, but it's kind of useless to offer now since you will be captured. That is not what I meant. Huh? What the? Oh no, a dimensional technique! Everybody, get out! What's wrong? What are you talking? The dimensional buster! Primal chaos! Well, we could have seen that one coming, but I'm actually curious what it does. Because he also used that one at the entrance of the city. <sighs> Let's go, we have to find him again. They just got randomly teleported? Primal chaos! No matter how many times I see it, I'm still amazed. Of course! Master teleports everyone present to random places! How powerful is such a move? Okay, so he doesn't kill them, but he sends them to a random place. A random place which might actually kill them. Accidentally sends them to outer space. Well, you didn't kill them, but you also did kill them, you know? <laughs> Not to mention that everyone who gets teleported will have amnesia for a couple of days. So they can't chase us. 
keep up your studies, apostles. You will be able to use it too. After all, you are my successors. The student will not disappoint, master. So shall not this one. Let's go. It'll take some time for me to track him again. Holy cheeseburger from hell! Wait, what? Is that Drag? Where is he? Oh, huh? It's a good thing I have the keys to this place. Otherwise, you have to break the window to enter this sacred place. Uh, <laughs> okay, so he escaped. Ah, but don't ask me how I got the keys. Not because it's secretive, but because I honestly don't remember since I was drunk. Oh, <laughs> Drag, we're not questioning how you got the keys, we're just wondering if you actually get some after closure drinks. <laughs> But uh, this is not great because it's actually three against one now. You? How? Yeah, about that. I broke free of your technique the second I was out that window. Wh what? But you were being teleported. Teleported? No, he just puts everyone in a trance and tells them to run. Uh, that's uh, that. That's way less cool. <laughs> okay, I'm actually cringing up of the on this. This is so disappointing. I guess he puts you in one too, since you can't remember what happened. Blasphemy! What kind of cheap trick did you pull on Master? No, he's right. That is exactly what I do. W what B but then... This is why you two are still students, since you were unable to withstand my illusion. Uh huh? Uh, but then, how did he see through it? Not only that, I weakened your attack just now, so Polly and the others should be back in a couple of minutes. Use this technique at the gate too, right? I'm glad the messing people will be back soon, plus it gave me a general idea on how it works. You... you are someone like me, aren't you? Dude, don't put us together just because we use similar techniques. You're like a horror novel, and I'm a dark comedy booklet. I wouldn't describe Remnant as a horror novel, more like a thriller. Regardless, it was foolish of you to come back alone. Now you cannot escape your fate. As a matter of fact, since you can also use a dimensional technique, I came back. Because now I know I can defeat you. Flash for me! Get him! Wait, stop! Don't worry, Master. We won't kill him. We know we are not allowed to kill yet, but we can sure as hell be the smug out of him. Oh, he wasn't telling you to stop because he thought you guys would accidentally kill me. But because Drag is gonna overpower them. Eh? Uh, then... He was telling you to stop because... He's afraid of what I will do to you two. Uh, why did his clothes change? Dimensional Buster. Oh my god, um, I'm gonna try and pronounce that, but I'm not sure if that's gonna work out. Mritunjai, Conqueror of Death. Ah, my head! No! Master, forgive us! He didn't kill them, did he? Two minutes. Considering their abilities, that was not a bad time. You have some good students. No, 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 he didn't. Drag doesn't kill anyone. Minutes? They're only facing for a couple of seconds. How did two minutes pass? Hmm, well, Remnant, it seems you also got affected, huh? But don't worry, they're not dead. I don't kill people like you. <sighs> I know, but your spiritual pressure has crippled their minds. They can no longer learn dimensional techniques. So they're not of use anymore to him as students. I had to make sure no more assassins like you will be created after I take care of you. Sorry, King's his orders. Take care of me? What makes you think I'll give you a chance to cripple me? Well, you did just prove to Drag that you can be manipulated by the technique, so... Mm. And poof, out went the light. You already have. Oopsie. What the... Oh good, it worked. I was a bit worried since you had a dimensional technique too. What did you do? Where are we? Nothing much. You're currently in a special little place in my mind. I call it the Hall of Truth. This is the same texture pack from when we had the post office nightmare, right? What do you think of the design? I just renovated the place after I got inspiration for it from a dream I had. 
Ah, it was inspired by the dream. <laughs> it is very ugly. Yeah, well, the truth is always ugly. Trapping someone in an illusionary world. Is this your technique's true form? How long does it last? Let's see. Approximately one second. The time it will take you to reach and stab me in the real world. One second? So does that mean that time moves slowly here? Yes. Do you know how fast our neurons can fire? When science becomes a weapon. Technically, we can't stay here for thousands of years while only one minute passes in the real world. I see. You intend to defeat me here before I stab you in the real world, right? But how? Isn't there also a theory that if you were able to put your mind into some kind of dream state, that you could live a whole life or even longer in just a few seconds in real life? If that idea ever came to fruition, weird shit is gonna happen, you, you already can tell. The internet is already weird today and just imagine everything that's on the internet could be a possible dream world. So do we actually want that to happen? Oh my god, this game is making me have an existential crisis. <laughs> the same way I did to those apostles, by destroying their beliefs. A monstrous! You are a destroyer, a diminisher of hope, a cruel fate, which is more horrible than death. And here I thought Ada was the monster. It's your business how you see me, but I'm simply a person who sticks to reality and doesn't pamper people's illusions. Their beliefs were not relating to the realities of the world, so it crumbled. Sorry to disappoint, but my beliefs are not an illusion, nor are they weak enough to hurt. You won't destroy my faith. I will. I always do. Drag has the ability to literally obliterate Death's beliefs. So I'm pretty sure Drag can handle a Death Priest with, well, questionable ideals. Drag Morris, I admit you're a capable person, but don't think you can shatter my faith that easily. Oh, the eyes in the background. I do like the painting in the back, but I don't like the eyes, like, at all. What do you think you're calling faith is merely evil, stubbornness, fake, a lie? Mmm. Well, yeah. It's not a lie? Mmm. Stubbornness? Faith is trust in something or someone. You are merely stubborn. You believe only your side is true and don't even look at the facts. Sometimes faith must be blind in order to save someone. Probably, but when that same ignorant faith starts taking lives, it is time for reality to step in. You speak of reality? This world, this life is nothing but an illusion. An illusion whose job is to make us suffer. The only true reality is in death. Ugh. Death is an escape from this miserable illusion, so embrace it! Great! If you like death so much, then why don't you embrace it? Makes my job easier. You call death the ultimate truth, but in reality death is meaningless without life, suffering, a soul, heaven or hell. Mmm... yeah. Yeah, life. You can't die without living first. It is pointless with life since it gives death meaning. They are interconnected, they can't survive without each other, so explain to me how one is an illusion and one is the truth. And that's why Drag has two medallions, one of life and one of death. But we actually haven't seen what the medallion of life does, can it save someone? I don't know. We try to live our lives to the fullest, because we know death is inevitable. It is the fear of death which gives life meaning. Maybe, but life persists for only a couple of decades while death is eternal. No. You misunderstood death, or maybe you never even looked deeper into it. What? Let me explain what death truly is. Meaning of death. The meaning of death? It's an eternal silence. No, the dead can become fertilizers for grass, water can become ice and vice versa. The true meaning of death is life, love, truth, hate change or happiness. The true meaning of death is life? Because without life there isn't death? I don't know? Dang it! But it could also be like, because there's life there's also death, so death is a change of state? So change? 
I, I don't know. <laughs> Death is nothing more than change in a particular object. A change that is sometimes reversible and sometimes not. No, death is irreversible. It's a permanent change. No, a person is truly not dead. Unless they are suffering in heaven, forgotten in hell, decomposed. Uh, yeah, for forgotten, for sure. If someone's ideal still influenced the world today, is he truly dead? Maybe his flesh is gone, but his words and actions still drive other people. Then I say that he's more alive than ever. Ah! Death is not the end. Death cannot stop ideals, and as long as these ideals exist, no one is truly gone. You, you should write a book, but your words don't change the fact that the dead are gone. Are they really? Now let's take an example. Let's talk about your first victim since you came here. Uh, since he came here, so they're talking about Benjamin, right? What? Let's talk about you, Apostles, Tira, Frank, Benjamin or Polly. Benjamin! Let's talk about the first victim you killed when you came here. Let's talk about Benjamin. Benjamin. I wonder, do you remember Benjamin? He used to work at the police department, post office, hospital, fire station. Post office. He worked at the post office. Really hated that guy. Still do. Seriously, I, I hope he's suffering in heaven. I remember all my victims. Wait, did my brain just read that correctly? Did he? Is he suffer? Does Jack want him to be in heaven? So he actually doesn't really hate Benjamin. Really? Then do you remember that Benjamin was a fitness free killer up for a promotion? Um, well, he is two of these things, but um, which one should I choose? Well, he is up for a promotion, I, I guess? Ah, crap. So it was actually the first one. Yes, he gave me a tough time. If it wasn't for the apostles distracting him, he could have gotten away. So, I bet you will be more careful when you're planning future murders, right? What are you trying to say? I'm saying you're keeping the memory of Benjamin alive in your head so that you won't die. He's not denying it. His strength alarmed you to a level that he etched himself in your brain. A part of his soul now lives in you. In fact, you said it yourself. You remember all your victims. Doesn't that mean that they are truly not dead? A tyrant plans fear in future generations. A good man leaves behind ideals. Being dead does not stop them from affecting the living. If death is supposed to be the end of that person, then it should end everything related to him. Only then he's truly gone. <laughs> this game is going so deep into life and death it's actually gonna give me a freaking existential crisis, man. What the fuck? Ah! Just the fact that you're hurting proves that you believe everything I say. <sighs> that mask is looking a little bit broken. Death is not the ultimate truth. Not yet, at least. <sighs> then what is the ultimate truth? That's the thing. There's no such thing as an ultimate or permanent truth. What? The truth as reality is the clarification inside the illusions. How can it change? Simple. Let's say I have a glass of water. Since you see me holding the glass, you know it's true. But something can change that. Breaking the illusion, drinking the water, turning it into wine. And so Jesus turned water into wine and people had a drinking party. <laughs> if I drink the water, doesn't it mean that the glass is empty now? The truth about the glass is now different. Truth changes. It has to, if the world... No, the universe wants to exist. Truth is simply a fact that exists within a given time frame. It's also like everything else, subjected to change. <laughs> this cannot be. Why is this happening to me? You're questioning yourself for the first time. That's triggered your internal conflict. Soon, that internal conflict will affect your external actions, bothering you until you solve it. I am questioning myself? Impossible! I never question myself, even after I kill my twin brother. He what? Oh, dude, that's so messed up. So, to become the assassin, you need to kill your twin? Were you going to ask those girls to do the same? <coughs> You wouldn't understand. We are punished or rewarded for our actions in this illusionary world. 
and this illusion decides whether we go to heaven or hell. Don't you think that's unfair? Drag. We help people bypass the illusionary world strap by killing those who go against major powers. Is that why you give medallions to the royals? Yes, since everybody has a medallion, everyone is guarded and no one dares launch a war. We are protecting humanity from doing unforgivable things like war and massacre. We are saving the souls of the possible culprits. That's also something King Freak mentioned, didn't he? Um, about the Death Priest, if he died, that the Skion Empire might actually attack or go to war with other countries? You misunderstood again. What? You don't even know how heaven and hell works, do you? And you do? Well, if there's someone who actually might have an idea that's possibly drag because he already went to hell, but maybe Amber also could know because she's an actual angel, but we haven't seen heaven yet. At this point, we haven't seen heaven yet, so I wonder. Yes. And I'm sorry to say, your work over the generations have been completely worthless. I still don't understand. Then allow me to enlighten you. The human soul. If I know right, good people supposedly go to heaven and bad people go to hell. Yeah, well this one speaks for itself. Good and bad are illusions created by mankind. The only ones who go to heaven are those who have no regrets. I agree. What is considered bad today may not be considered bad later. A decade ago, people used to scorn widows who remarry and divorce to be an instrument of the devil. But look at it now. Good and bad change meaning on the requirements of human. So of course it can decide who can go to heaven or hell. As for regret, it's not the only deciding factor in this. There's another factor which determines the route you take. Happiness, sadness, wrath, guilt, crimes, worship. Um, um, guilt? Because it's something that will hold you back? Guilt? Yes. A guilty mind torments itself for the things it thinks it has done wrong, and it does not stop unless it forgives itself. So you are saying that if a person feels guilty, they go to hell? But then, every soul must be in hell. Well, um, I mean, what about psychopaths? They don't feel guilt, they don't feel remorse, they just kill for fun. Because every soul is guilty of something. Yes. The souls can only go to heaven once they accepted their guilt and made peace with it alongside their regrets. So as long as you don't have guilt about something, you can go to heaven, but what if you don't have a conscience? So there's actually something really wrong about this. So you're saying every soul goes to hell first and then heaven? You can't have good stuff without struggling a bit for it. That way you appreciate it more. It just sounds like all the nice people are going to get stuck in hell because they feel guilt for doing something crazily stupid, they regret their whole life, while psychopaths, murderers and whatever or whatnot, people who have no regrets about anything, they end up in heaven? I mean, it is actually an interesting thought, but if that's the case, I don't know if I wanna go to heaven. <laughs> so, what about you? Do you feel guilty? No! Maybe not before, since you were helping the royals keep peace, but what about now? You killed two people and injured the third one because you thought you were doing it for the royals, gods, heavens, hell, purgatory, limbo! <laughs> this is difficult to answer. For who was he doing it? He was kinda doing it for the royals, right? Because then they wouldn't go to war? So, royals? But then you met Gran at the post office and realized you were being used for petty grievances. Ah! You killed two innocent people. Surely it must have impacted you a little. Now! Stop! Oh, am I sensing some doubt here, Remnant? Is that guilt in your voice? Yeah, I'm also hearing some guilt dripping out of that voice. Mm. Stop! I think we're done here. Nope, we just got a crack in there and now we're gonna hammer on it until your whole belief shatters. Ah! You know, this is actually just a random thought, but the story is really good. I really like the story, but the games themselves, they feel really generic. I mean, it is an RPG Maker MV game. I know that. It's all the standard tile sets. It's all 
in there. It, it, it's stuff I've seen already a hundred times. I think the games deserve more than the generic tile set of the RPG Maker MV. That's what I'm trying to say here. That may be why MC hasn't really broken through yet. That was for Tira, you son of a bitch. <coughs> you okay? <coughs> uh, how can I be? I'm going to hell. Not necessarily. As long as you truly stop feeling guilty, have no regrets, I'm sure you can go to heaven. <clears throat> if a killer like me can go to heaven, then it must not be as good a place as I thought it would be. Again, wrong. Good and bad do not exist in heaven, only truth. So I doubt anyone there will hate you. After all, they left all their regrets behind. I see. What about you, Drag? Do you think you can go to heaven? I still have a lot of regrets. I'm not ready yet. Yeah? I'm actually glad Drake can recognize he has a lot of regrets going on. And, and not only regrets, he actually has a lot of guilt in him as well. I see. That's good. I might have company then when we go to hell. <laughs> as long as you pay for the drinks. <laughs> yeah, the drinks, man, the drinks. But Drake, it's hell. So is there gonna be a bar? In your hell? I don't think there will be. <laughs> okay, okay, I will do that. You're losing consciousness. When you wake up, you'll be in jail, awaiting execution. I'm sorry, but your crimes are too big. Okay, I'll wait for you. One, one request, please. Say it. The twins, the hands, Still clean. Save them before they... Okay, I'll try. But whether they are saved or not, depends on them. That's good. At least this way. I will have one less regret. The next day. And this shows how people with good intentions actually can do bad things. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. Ah, jeez, calm down, you did the right thing. If anyone should apologize, it should be me. Then apologize. Drag, don't drag it out too far. Shut up, asshole. <laughs> I'm so glad everyone is okay. It brings tears to my eye. More like a tsunami. Quit crying already. Is that choking chicken I hear? Clicker clicker! I hear a duo assistance was required for a certain matter. So here I am here. Shogun! Shogun chicken! It's been so fucking long! Huh? Now a chicken came with a small war helmet? Where the hell is she getting these animals from? Nobody knows, Polly. They just show up in her life and they're just being awesome. I bet she also has a tap dancing monkey! <laughs> I actually want to meet that monkey now. What is she planning to do with those animals? Open a circus? I would pay to watch it. Huh? Melvin has been kidnapped by ninja koalas? That's bad. They look cute, but oh, they're little fluffy monsters. Cluck, cluck. We must make a hasto and meet up with the Kung Fu Pandas to talk about alliance. Everybody wants to Kung Fu fighting. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Lead away. Wait, is this copyrighted? I don't know. That kid is a mystery wrapped with layers of insanity. The void of common sense. Well, whatever's going on, I'm going to follow them and watch the show. It looks really interesting. I really want to see this episode happen. Is this going to be a future episode? I do hope so. Ah, hold on. She just dumped all the paperwork on me and left. Not happening. Don't move till I come back. I still have to punish you for breaking out of jail. <laughs> oh, right, I did that. Better not tell him I knocked the guard out too on my way out. <laughs> well, time to do what I do best. Hide from everyone till this whole thing dies down. And leave all the paperwork to Polly. <laughs> Hold it. Oh, we're at the post office. We are not finished yet, asshole. Why are we at the post office? Oh, hey, it's you. What do you want? A beating? I knew it! 
You're that bad guy who has been a cause on our post office for almost two decades! Oh, well, I'm not sorry about that. <laughs> You'll be sorry! I challenge you to a race! I refuse. On what grounds? On the grounds that it sounds tedious? Drag! You better kneel down and bang your head against the ground three times as an apology! I bang my head against walls on a daily basis. Any more banging my doctor tells me I will get brain damage. You! Why, Ayata? Oh, I'm so scared. What are you gonna do? Complain to your mommy? Uh, yeah, you can't hit him now, can you? Because he's a police officer and you would get arrested. You! <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, is Drag ready for this? Wait. What? Mom! That drag guy has infiltrated the headquarters! Oh wait, no! Are those his half-brother and half-sister? No, you're in trouble! Nobody can escape from mother's wrath! Are we going to see his... Are we going to see his mother? Your... mother? Drag's nickel is falling. Hold on, Polly brought me along to meet someone related to the case. What is this place? The post office, Drake. It's time to bail. This is something you're not ready for yet. <laughs> you stepped in a tiger's den without knowing it. You're in the postmaster's office. Run! Run! Before it's too late. I I have to go. Where do you think you're going? Uh-oh. <laughs> Jeez, what a desolate morning. The sun would just kill itself for being an asshole. Ah, okay, so I, I guess I can see where Dreg got his, uh, well, attitude. <laughs> the apple didn't fall far from the tree. Dearest mother, it isn't where the sun bows before you. Oof, damn. Yes, yes, I wish you would stop talking like that. That tone of voice grates my soul. Mom, um, why is your mood always sour? I called you here for an emergency. It's not my mood. It's my soul that is sour itself. Sometimes I think I was given birth by a garbage dump. Hey, you! Uh, what is his name again? Dearest mother, his name is Drag. Last name, uh, I forgot. He's the one the other police are always complaining about. Take him down, mother. Hey, you! Drag, what is your problem? Well, you are his problem. My problem? I don't know. I have several. I mean, what's your problem with my post office? Or is your brain non-existent for you to not understand a simple question? Oh, that? My problem is that they lost something that should have belonged to me. Oh boy, this is, this is digging way too much in Drex's soul. Was it valuable? Oh, it was, uh, it was pretty much valuable, yes. One could say it's actually invaluable. I don't know. Probably. Did the last package contain your ability to turn around? Why are you facing away? Because he cannot face you? I am allergic to human faces. So am I, but I still faced him. The key is having a spine. Now turn around! Is he actually gonna do it? <gasps> is she gonna recognize him? First time he sees her and she sees him. Does she now know about why he's doing all that? I don't know, but this feels kinda awkward. Seems like the package loss was more valuable than I thought. Yep, this is awkward. Probably, we may never know. If you want, I... Nah, too complicated. I'd rather try to post stuff as around. It's something I'm used to anyway. That outfit. You a cop? A lousy one, but yes, just like my father. Hold up! As much as I hate him, that's not true! Yeah, he's the one who solved the murders! I hate him too, but he's seriously good. Huh, I see. You married yet? I haven't found someone suicidal enough for that. Are you happy? Oh, that's the real question. Is Jack actually happy? Hmm, I can't really answer that question because Drag is using a lot of sarcastic answers and not really thinking about it himself. I I think he actually doesn't know it himself if he's happy or not. Frankly, I don't know. I think I'm still looking. But I know one thing for sure. 
I have everything I ever needed in the past or future. Does that count as happiness? It should. Then I guess I am. I see. What about you? Are you happy? Hmm, yes. That was a fast answer. Illusionary hope brings internal conflict, which later leads to external conflicts. Okay, I, I can get behind that. So I keep my head clean of any meaningless thoughts and doubts. Ooh. Ooh, no, that's, that's very bad to say at this point. That's just saying drag is meaningless to her. What a coincidence. Me too. Whatever, get going now. And I don't want you harassing the post office again. No promises. Such impudence! Your mother deserves a trashing for not disciplining you. <laughs> she didn't have a chance for it, but I understand. You do? Really? Yeah, and even after everything, if she needs my help, I'll be there. After all, it's family. No matter what, I'm still Jake Morris, and I hate the post office, but not my mother. <laughs> Such sharp words. Where did he inherit that trait from? Certainly not from his idiotic father. Well, I guess he uh, actually got it from you, but that's strange because he wasn't raised by you. From now on, keep me updated on him. I want to know everything about him. Yes, mother. It is unworthy son will find information of him down to the last trend of his hair. Good. I want to know his likes, dislikes, his daily life, whether he eats healthy or not, even what kind of presents he likes. It's easy, give him beer, give him lots of beer. He'll be happy. Actually, any form of alcohol is, is fine. Oh, 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 and, and give him more anti-villain games. He loves anti-villain games. <laughs> totally not saying what I want. <laughs> uh, um, okay. But what should we do if he attacks the employees again? <laughs> Kick his ass without mercy, of course. Who is he going to complain to? His mother? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Crest? Did mother just smile? It's the end of the world! I must advise dearest father to seek shelter immediately! Wait, so the same applies to his mother? Damn. Interesting. There seems to be more to this drag guy than meets the eye. I must investigate him properly. Well, it's just a matter of time before she'll figure out Drag is her half-brother. Something to look forward to. Also, next video will be Medieval Cop 9 Part 3, not what you see on screen right now, because I'm doing a little bit of a different order, but soon we'll be back on track. If you want to refresh your mind or haven't seen Part 1 and 2 yet, I recommend watching them, as they're very important for the plot of the third game. These two playlists on screen right now contain all of my videos on each game in the right order, so go check them out if you want to. Thank you for watching all the way through, and I'll see you again in the next video. Ciao!